This three-story building is a language school in the city of Khmelnytsky, Ukraine. Almost a thousand children and adults come here to learn 10 foreign languages or perfect their Ukrainian. The learning continues even when Russian shelling cuts off the electricity. The first evening, when there was no electricity, the school wasn't prepared. But the next day, we were ready. There were still problems with internet connection, but there was light. The school's management kept the school operating by using an alternate power source – electric vehicles. While we have power, we charge one electric vehicle, and the other one serves as a source of electricity for the school. When the first one runs out of power, we switch them. The makeshift charging station is just outside the language school. Nichiparuk says they charge the three electric vehicles they have only when the country's power demand is low. This car gives the school electricity for a day. That one is a little better, so it gives enough electricity for 36 hours. Thanks to this ingenious approach, the school keeps operating. If there is no electricity, there would be no classes. But now that we have a so-called power bank on wheels, the school management found a way to keep the school running. Power from the electric vehicles is used for just the bare minimum – security cameras and classroom lights. All the light bulbs have been swapped for energy-saving ones. When the country is in such a situation, electricity is scarce and you realize every light bulb you use is a burden on the country's power grid, you know you need to switch and use energy-saving ones. If there is no electricity, the administrators know they need to flip the switch, and now they are using the backup power source. See the lights are working? But we're not using the city's power grid. Where there is a will for learning, these Ukrainians found a way to keep studying. For Tatiana Kukurika in Khmelnytsky, Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.